worship those cars and that era, the discovery of a lifetime. Hundreds of the vintage models have been uncovered and will soon be sold. We sent NBC's Harry Smith to Pierce, Nebraska for a trip down memory lane. They are lined up in a remote Nebraska farm field, like a crop someone forgot to harvest. Old cars and old pickup trucks, hundreds of them. Many used, really used, but some never, ever driven. I have seen grown men cry in places like this. Oh, yes. Yvette Vanderbrink is an auctioneer who grew up at racetracks and car sheds. She says she has rust in her blood. To anyone driving by, this probably looks like a highly organized junkyard. It is anything but. It is proof of an urban legend about a small town car dealer who closed his doors, leaving years and years of unsold inventory. And if you're a car collector, this is a field of dreams. The dealer's name is Ray Lambrecht. When Ray came back from World War II, Ray and his wife Mildred went into the car business. Ray was a born salesman, but a conventional businessman, he was not. After somebody bought a new vehicle, he'd take the trade in and drive it out to the farm or put it in a building, and you couldn't buy it. You had to buy a new car. And so he was a master at selling new Chevrolets. People traveled from all over to buy a new Chevy from Ray. He sold a lot of cars. Yeah, there are but after 50 there. years, the Lambrechts were ready to retire. And what they've left behind will blow the minds of car collectors. It's like being inside a time capsule. Yes, it is. And they still have the delivery numbers on the window. Wow. Ray and Mildred, now in their 90s, their health frail, figured it was time for one last closeout sale. I've been looking for one of these. Yeah, Yvette is. will auction off all the cars, is. as is, the last weekend in September. So they will come by the thousands next month to see for themselves. The legend was true. There is a holy grail, and it looks like an old Chevy. Harry Smith, NBC News, Pierce, Nebraska. How cool is that? That's our report for this Thursday night. Thank you for being with us. I'm Lester Holt in for Brian. We hope to see you right back here.